Hi, this is Anna. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm sharing with you the last journal in this series of the um, journals made with um, food packaging. So the pages and also the cover is made with recycled uh, materials. And then I used some stickers on the cover and also markers and I laminated the front and the back. Then I used uh, duct tape and the journal is 10 inches by seven and a half by one and a half. Uh, it has tassel attachment, two signatures, tassel attachment. This is, I think, sixth journal that I made uh, in this series. And so the wire that you see here, the entire wire here, that actually came with the earring. That was an earring with like the long wire here. Um, and then I used recycled beads that I got from thrift store. And then this is binder ring. So you can open it and remove it. You can add something else to it. Anyways, this kind of looks like a mushroom to me. And it's funny because I have mushrooms here. So uh, it has few interesting things the way I have it here. Then this is elastic, uh, neon green, or yeah, I think that's that will be green. And I just painted over this one with markers, um, acrylic markers. And this is a button, and I'm really happy I found this color button. And then I have dangles at the bottom with a couple stars because of the moon uh, here I figured I want to add some stars so cute colorful um, beads so very easy to work uh, in this journal so the pages are made with um, packaging as you can see cereal boxes or whatever I had and so I explained this uh, many, many times before, but if you're here for the first time, you can cover this entirely with paper, scrapbooking paper. You can paint over it and you can make it into art journal. This is why I have art journal here, but you can use it however you want to. You can trim these off if they bother you. I kept them. So all sorts of pretty uh, papers, boxes, candy boxes. This is rice bag and this comes with stuff. I'll show it at the end. I also made tags with food packages. This is tea bag or tea box with some uh, recycled ribbon. So for pages like this one here, I used two uh, identical chocolate boxes you see it on the other side anyways this can be used as a tag you can turn on the other side or you can use it as a tuck spot and glue this here or pocket and then you could put something inside of it so let me put this back And then here I made this journal card, so you can journal on this side. You can glue white paper if you think this is too dark. I think you can still journal on this. So this is, as you can see, from uh, from a ribbon. These two on the side were from cereal boxes, and then this is uh, some other packaging and some more on top. So it's just a few things layered, but I think it looks so cool and unique. These are also two boxes that are glued together. Then these you can uh, use for stenciling or other things. Or you can put your picture at the back and it will be visible through here. You can still write on it as you can see. Then this you can use for many different things. You can journal on it or you can uh, 
you can draw circles with it, you can cut it in half, make it into tuck spots. And it's pretty color too, so I figured this would be pretty to add in this one. Then this here is on a paper clip. This is to show you that this can be a belly band, but you can do whatever you want with it. Those on two sides here. Then this will be a pretty background for something. Here's the, the other box. And here's the other box uh, from chocolate. So as you can see, glued in the middle. And it's a flip. You can trim it or keep it. And it comes with two tags. This is actually from Coffee Bag. The other side of the rice bag. And I have flowers here so you can stencil the flowers, just like in the other journals. And then I also have this journal card uh, page. And I really have it here for the color. So it's this pretty blue, and it looks blue with this one here. So this is why it's such a pretty page, I think. Here's another tag I made with the uh, mailing envelopes. Uh, what is it called? the thing that goes over that uh, glue second signature uh, this is also a mailing envelope that i cut in half like i covered whatever was in here and i have two tags inside so you can write on it too or use it for other purposes Here's another tag. The top is made with, um, it's laminated plastic uh, left over when I was uh, trimming the pages for the covers. So this is a flip, but you can cut this and make it into a tag. Extra book page. This also can be a belly band or a tag or you can use it to decorate a page somewhere to add color. Here I, I also have two packages glued together. So here's one and on the other side you'll see the other one. Then this is fun I think because it's a flip. And of course you can cut it if you don't like it. Here I made a tag that's left over from a uh, box that I used. This is also, also from Ribbon and I added feather on top because pretty birds. Here's the other box. And here I used, as you can see, uh, a part of that box I was just showing you. This one here. Such a pretty box. So I added another. Um, this one actually has a skull on it. I think it was Halloween ribbon or something. And then I have some more of the packaging left over. And I add a flower on top and a sticker. So this could be even for Halloween because of the colors. And that's the other side of the mailer. And I kept this the way it is. You can either use it like, like it is or you can, you can glue it on a page and then glue a piece of paper on top of it and then journal on it. Or you can also make it into a belly band 
or pocket and add something inside. Then this is a flip. I left it and I also added this piece of paper. And I wanted this color because it's kind of similar to this. And that's the end. So let me go back. So there were so many boxes and packages and everything. They were taking so much space and I just put it all into one journal. It's pretty amazing actually. Um, but I, I ran out of boxes. This is why I will stop making these for some time. So I have things in here. that you can use in the journal so you can use flowers to decorate the pages There's a few flowers a few gemstones um, let's see then i have this leftover piece and all of these I thought, just like in the previous journal, you can use those flowers that I had somewhere. Uh, they were in that bag. Here. When you stencil the flowers, you can use these to make stems for the flowers and create pretty things or you can use these for for these flowers too so you can make pretty things with the stuff that i included in here this you can add on the side of a page this fabric so let's see what else i have i have a couple same one tea bags fabric cool things for adding somewhere in a journal maybe a tab project life so a few things that you can use So I'm going to put all of this in a pocket so it stays there. And close it. So this journal comes just like that and it's available for purchase and my Etsy so here's this one more time as always thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon bye bye